What's up guys and gals, it's your boy Hayden from Star Wars Sports Cards. We've got some Chilling Rain. I picked up uh, 15 packs. I already took them out of the, the little uh, blister case thing. So I'd save you all the trouble with that part of the video. Um, I'll post the code cards on my Instagram, so make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Because I'm not going to go through that on the video post. Um, so 15, it was 3.99, 15 times 4, 30, 60. 60 plus tax, so we'll say 65, 66 bucks. So basically, we got to hit one of the um, the alt arts, and um, if you don't know, the 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 pull rates are very um, unfriendly in chilling rain. So we'll just see what happens. Past the peak. Drizzle, Swirlix, your mask, cast form, the other cast form, Ladyva, reverse fire resistant gloves, and an Argodon. It's got some sticky on it from the. Alright. So I watched some more pre release. Um, Oops. Some more pre. Ooh, that's quality control right there. Uh, Fusion Strike, and it seems like the hit hit ratio is about the same as Chilling Rain and Battle Styles. Not that they don't have cool cards that you could get, but for the amount of time and energy that you invest in the product you could probably buy that single without um, you know blowing through the same amount of packs Hatterney Hollow the big money hollow the big money so of course you know like everyone else I hadn't had much luck with Chilling Rain if you watched the last video actually did very very well with Evolving Skies um, I opened some Evolving Skies yesterday um, Frostlass and Clancy uh, but you know Chilling Rain and Battle Stars I feel like are a whole different animal it's not Shining Fates, Hidden Fates Just opened up my two-person deck for the My Hero card game to try and complete that that binder set right now. Um, the only way you can get those cards is in that starter deck. Um, like there's there's like a whole like three pages in my binder of those numbers. Um, they're starter exclusive, which is weird. But then there's there's random hollows in there, and then some of the the start exclusives are randomly hollow instead of like a specific one every time I don't know, it's kind of weird Lady and ooh, Galarian Articuno V that's just a pretty card it's probably only like five bucks it will not refuse this to stand up let's see what a Galarian Articuno okay, that is not going to stand up the altar is what you want. Galarian. You're not on the first page. That's never good. Galarian Articuno V. Hmm. A dollar. All right. The Brawly Full Art's cool. Unrelated. Just looking at the TCG player. All right. So if it's not on the first two pages, it's not worth looking up for now. Cool. It's just not. It ain't doing that. Mm -mm -mm. I got the, that's 
So it's white, so we know it's at least a hollow, even though that doesn't tickle my fancy. I need it to be a little more uh, precious. Ghastly. Coughing. Deadly Bird. Reverse Malamar. And Galarian Slow King B. I actually have that. For those who don't know, I have a V binder that I collect, like just V cards. That is like one of the random ones I have. I'm sure he has an altar or something with a, you know, off the top of my head, but. Hunter. Spooky, spooky. Everybody had a good Halloween. Hope everybody stayed safe. Obviously, if you didn't stay safe, you're watching this from uh, not a fun place, I guess. I don't know. Spirit Cone. That's spooky art. We had a lot of people come through our neighborhood. We had uh, we're kind of on the outskirts of. Uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, in a newer neighborhood, but, uh, shit. I looked at the code card, though, so I cussed. Um, but I guess at the, the police, for whatever reason that they have that statistic, said about 10,000 people came through our neighborhood last night just to trick-or-treat. It was pretty, it was pretty wild, and you know, not super wild and when you have a three year old, but um you know, we had a good time. Got to teach him about the uh the candy tax. And that's dad gets your candy. That's all there is to it. Especially when he goes to sleep. But for being so young, he kind of inventories it. He, he kind of knows what's going on. Ooh, reverse Haunter. That's cool. And... Wow, this Haunter is really thick. Wow, it's really thick. Thunderous. That was weird. Thunderous. Oh, it's a hollow Thunderous. Okay, so there's a... Tornadus, Thunderous, and then I just saw on um, Fusion Strike, uh, freaking Volcanus. I mean, I played Sword and Shield. I thought I knew most of Pokemon, even the ridiculous ones. You know, the ones that are like shapes and keys and red boot. That's a cool one. Um, you know, stuff like that, but some, some still sneak up on me. Vinipede. Just plate. Volcanion V. So we're, we're looking at like roughly three bucks right here. Three out of sixty five. And we're about halfway through, so not not looking too hot. But like I said, I'm ready to even be considered to uh, get close to um, the value of this of uh, these packs. We'd have to pull one of those big alt arts, the uh, you know Glarian Moltres, Glarian Arcuno. Um, really like that Zamazenta V alt art. Is real nice. Not Zamazenta. Uh, Zero Aura. Hello, Schwebel. Schwebel. I like the regular. Uh, I like the regular Maltese art where it's running up the hill like a like a uh, roadrunner. 
but what's more common has less value, right? The more the market is saturated, the more it exists, the less it is valued, which that's anything. It's not just Pokemon cards. That's supply and demand. Larvista, Reap, Reverse Shaman, and Guard of War Hollow. So a lot of hollows. Which, you know, this isn't 1999. So hollows aren't of any value. Unless, you know, you collect them or whatever, you know. Fiscal value at this point in time in the Pokemon collection career timeline. Yeah, see, like, I don't remember cast form, and there's like three different cast forms, and one's snow, and one's fire, and I guess one's ice. Sobble. Ooh, reverse drizzle, that's nice. And ooh, I love full art trainers. I love it. Love it. Looks like pretty good centering. Just gonna say it looks a little thick left to right, but I don't think it is. No whitening that I can see. There's Cybold full art. Let's see how. Let's see where that puts us on the uh, the panic train. No panic, I'm opening them up for fun. Cybold. He's not on the first page. So he's not one of the cool he's not one of the uh the waifu trainers. Cybold. You are not valued to the people. Mm, the secret rare. Okay. So six bucks. We call that up. Well, wow, it's cool. I mean, I, I collect full art trainers, so that's just going in the. It's going in the binder, going in the collection. Because eventually, I'd like to have them all graded. You know, like just a bunch of just random full art trainers, just have them graded. Um, you know, ones that I think get a nine or a ten, um, and just have that. Because I just like that that full set up right there. And that's what the regular cards too, but the trainers just do something different for me. Doesn't matter who it is. Don't care for the rainbows. Don't care for the secret rares. And I see that like water cast form, rainy form. Like, like I said, don't remember. Apparently I did not catch them all in the, the newest. Flannery. And ooh, single strike reverse should boot. That's cool looking. So you hate that the hollows don't have any value because every, you know, I, there's some, there's definitely some hollows I put to the side. Like if I'm going to do like a bulk submission or something, if I'm, you know, for some reason flush, flush with cash or something like that, you know, I, I keep them to the side because, like, you know, this would be cool to, to have, um, whether, it, whether, oh, uh, well card is beat up but that's not the important card uh, whether it ends up being important or not that's one of those you know years from now it has value while it's already slabbed up no one else is going to have it slabbed up because why do you have that regular hollow slabbed up from a overprinted set but um, otherwise it's just cool to have reverse spiel that's my boy that's my bird that's my bird. Alt art Galarian Zapdos V running up the mountain. Running up the mountain. Center looks pretty good. Bottom might be a little thinner. Can't tell. So we got some bangers. Let's go. I mean. Just pulling those from just, you know, pulling random packs off a shelf, that's, that's pretty, um, that's 
pretty will take it, right? That's 47 is the lowest price, 55 is the market price. So if you go by market price, we're, we're even. We're even before we get to the last pack. And I do, I go, I go through and list all these uh, reverse hollows and, and non hollow rares and all that. I list it all on TCG Player. Uh, you know, dimes turn to dollars eventually. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, spending that time. Listen, but it's, it's easier than eBay because you you know if it's pack fresh and I put you know near met or you know lightly played if you want, but it's you know regardless, it's they just sit they just sit there. I'm not I'm not playing with them. And even if it was, now the set's outdated and there's new stuff that's that's going to be better. But the reverse hollow, no. Finipede, reverse hollow rock rough and a zangoose. On hello. There we go. Not bad at all. I'm gonna let I'm gonna post this video tomorrow, which I'm talking to you if you're watching it now. Um, and after that, I will um, post the hits and I will post the code cards for anyone interested. Make sure you uh, comment or follow on Instagram at Stalwart Sports Cards. Let me know, um, especially if you want those code cards. We got that nice Galarian Zapdos V and that Cybold. Um, and we got the Glarian Articuno. It's not the Altar, but it's awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Always appreciate it. And uh, leave a comment, like, follow, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and we'll see what we can do. All right? Appreciate you.